Welcome Hornets and thank you for participating today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over related rates as uh, done by the CP calculus class. So we'll be looking at circles, um, spheres, squares, and cubes today. Now, if you recall, when we're talking about related rates, the formulas are all going to be given to you. So as we go through, I will be identifying what is the formula that you'll be using for each of the problems as we go through. Okay, so in front of you, you'll notice I have a problem here. It says oil is spilling from a ruptured tanker, uh, spreads in a circle on the surface of the ocean. The radius of the spill increases at a rate of six meters per minute. How fast is the area of the spill increasing when the radius is four meters? Now, what I would recommend that you do is just draw a picture so that you can identify what's happening. We have a radius and we have the radius expanding. We're going to write our R as four meters and our R rate, R prime, the rate of that radius, we're going to be writing as six meters per minute. Now, we already know the area of a circle, but if you don't, this would be given to you on a test. And I'll tell you that the area of the circle is pi r squared. Since we're working with implicit differentiation in terms of time, what we're going to need to do is find a prime equals 2 pi r times r prime. We now have r and r prime that we're going to be substituting by the 4 meters and the 6 meters per minute. So we have our area's rate of change is 2 pi multiplied by 4 meters multiplied by 6 meters divided by minutes. As we multiply, you'll notice I get 12 times 4. And I'm looking at 48 pi meters squared. Meters times meters is meters squared divided by minutes. We're then going to um, just identify our answer on a multiple choice question if that's what we had. And that's our first example. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second one, that involving a sphere. So here is our second example. A spherical snowball is rolled in fresh snow, causing it to grow so that its radius increases at a rate of 3 centimeters per second. Since the radius is growing, we know that rate is a positive value. How fast is the volume of the snowball increasing when the radius is 5 centimeters? Once again, the formula is going to be given to you. I'm going to start with my sphere picture. I'm told that the radius is 5 centimeters. And I know it's expanding as we roll it. And this is expansion is my r prime, and r prime is 3 centimeters per second. We know the formula, and if uh, you did not, I would be giving it to you on a test, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So this is what we're going to be working with. We're now going to take our implicit derivative. That means that v prime has to equal 4 pi r squared times r prime, and we're going to replace our values. The r is 5 centimeters, so we're going to put, let's make sure we put our units in, 5 centimeters, the quantity squared, times 3 centimeters per second. That means that as I multiply, I'm looking at 5 times 4 gives me 20. Uh, pardon, 5 times 25, I must square. Let me just make that point clear by squaring it. So that I can avoid another mistake similar to it. So I now have 4 times 25. That gives me 100. 100 times 3 gives me 300. And so I now know that I have 300 pi. And this is centimeters squared times centimeters. Gives me centimeters cubed divided by minutes. And that is now my answer for a sphere. Notice that in each of these cases, there's only two variables, one that we are solving for and one that we are substituting. Be careful. Because of the R prime, it actually turns into two. Let's take a look at the next example. Now, I tried to come up with something that was a little bit more tricky, 
And so the, uh, what I came up with is involving the diagonals of a square. However, I will tell you very clearly, just as I always will on a test, that the area is going to be x squared divided by 2, where x is the length of the diagonal. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to be using our formula. Just so you know, this is my picture. The diagonals that are expanding. So these diagonals are moving outward. Originally, they start off with a um, radius. Diagonals are 12 yards each. So we have 12 yards. And the rate is increasing at 3 yards per minute. All right, we're going to put it into the formula. A prime equals x, x prime. Therefore, if x is the length, that's got to be 12. And 3 yards per minute. Let me put my units in. Come on. Yards. And then 3 yards per minute. And you'll notice I'm going to get area prime, or the change in the area, is 36 yards squared per minute. And that's the rate of change of our area of this uh, square. I hope that didn't uh, hurt you too much. We're going to do one more. This is involving the cubes. So we're now going to be looking at a cube. Here is our problem. A hypothetical cube rose so that its length on each side are increasing at a rate of three feet per minute. How fast is the volume of the cube increasing when the sides are nine feet each? Start by drawing our picture. Here's my cube. The various dimensions, each side is increasing. They start off at a length of 9 feet, but they are increasing at a rate of 3 feet per minute. Now we know that the volume of a cube is the sides cubed. Side times side times side, just like length times width times height. And when I do my V prime, I'm looking at 3s squared times s prime. Plugging in my values, I have 3 times 9 squared times 3. And you'll notice that I'm now looking at 9 cubed. That's going to be 81 times 9 for um, let's see, 9, 72. And I have uh, 729. And this is now cubic feet. And we have per minute. And there is my process for finding the uh, related rates. Uh, in this case, we had a change in volume. Uh, we had a what was that? A change in um, area. We had a change in volume of the snowball. And we had a change in the area of the circle. All right. Thank you, Hornets. I hope that has helped you. Um, and uh, please continue to ask questions in class if you're struggling. Remember, it's never my goal that you are. But when it does happen, and it will, Try to relax, stay calm, and come up with questions that you can ask that will lead us to how to solve your problem. Thank you very much, Hornets. Please be safe and be kind to each other. And remember, it's easy to be mean, so be kind to each other. We change the world from within. Thank you. Bye-bye.